New Ferrari GTC4 Lusso T2017 Review New V8 version of Ferrari's Grand Tourer, the GTC4 Lusso, doesn't lose any sense of occasion compared to its V12 sibling. Verdict 4 Star Fitting Ferrari's fabulous twin-turbo V8 has done little to dent the GTC4 Lusso's sense of occasion. It will happily howl to its 7,500 RPM redline, while its playful chassis and sharp steering make it more of a sports car than a GT. But herein lies the problem, it can't quite compete with a 488 GTB for agility, nor a V12-powered GTC4 Lusso for comfort or refinement. If you're lucky enough to be in the market for a 200,000 pounds Ferrari, then pick one or the other not this mixture of the two. Last summer, Ferrari announced plans to fit its award-winning twin-turbo V8 into its previously V12-only FF successor, the GTC4 Lusso. Aimed at younger buyers, the Lusso T, 4 Turbo, of course, is a rear-wheel drive 4-seater. Ferrari says it's a car for those who want a Ferrari for daily use, and in mainly urban environments. It's the first time Ferrari has offered more than one engine in a single model, too. Bosses insist this isn't just another version of the GTC4, though, this Lusso T is in fact the sixth member of the current Ferrari family sitting above the California T and 488 GTB but below its 681 BHP V12 sibling. A single prod of the big, red, steering wheel mounted starter button fires the 3.9 liter twin turbo V8 into life with a feral bark. A quick stab of the throttle allays any fears that this new GTC might have lost any of its sense of occasion, the engine rasping to 7,500 RPM, then burbling consistently at idle. Despite Ferrari claiming that many GTC4 Lusso TS will live in the city, what the car is like to drive will surely remain as high a priority for buyers as it is on any model with a prancing horse on its nose. Thankfully, by removing some cylinders and switching from four to rear-wheel drive, engineers have saved a considerable 55 kilograms from the V12S near two-ton curb weight. The eight-cylinder car tips the scales at 1,865 kilograms. It's certainly nimble enough, the super sharp steering gives it an incredibly keen front end. The wheel isn't full of feel but the astounding levels of grip from the chassis allow you to push the car, reveling in the accurate and positive turn in. Ditching the front driven axle has permitted Ferrari to move the engine back for a more favorable 46,54 rear weight bias. It works well, too, giving you a constant sensation of being pushed rather than being pulled. With the ESC systems off, the Lusso T will slither out of corners thanks to the brand's clever slip slide control 3.0, SSC3, setup. The new car retains the F12 TDF's rear wheel steer system, too, improving agility and giving the GTC the feeling of a car with a far shorter wheelbase. Just like in the 488, any hint of turbo lag has been almost totally eliminated by Ferrari's Trick Variable Boost Management System, displaying instant throttle response throughout the rev range. On a twisting mountain road you could happily sit in third gear all the way up and all the way down, without shifting once. The 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox isn't as slick as a Porsche-produced PDK, but there's a visceral feeling to it, one that's only heightened by use of the GTC4S huge carbon fiber paddles. While the V8 loses out on raw horsepower, 603 bhp plays 681 bhp, the turbocharged motor actually packs an extra 63 nm of torque. It's not as relaxed or effortless as the V12, but it feels almost as quick. The Lusso T will sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds and hit 199 miles per hour flat out. That's just one tenth slower and 9 miles per hour shy of its more expensive stablemate. However, where that sharp setup works well in the corners, the GTC4 Lusso T appears fidgety on the straight and narrow, especially along some of Italy's most broken roads. Around town, 
This new Luso T belies its size, though, and never feels as large as its bulky dimensions would suggest. It's easy to see past the long, sweeping bonnet, while the well-proportioned door mirrors allow you to squeeze through surprisingly tight gaps. The driving position is spot on, and while visibility out the back is as compromised as ever, the standard fit reversing camera takes the strain away from any tricky maneuvers. However, the compliant ride at low speeds worsens on the motorway where the GTC4 Luso's comfort setting doesn't seem to soften the car's reaction to bigger lumps and bumps. The car feels more fluid on smoother surfaces but this is unlikely to improve back in the UK, where we expect the wide section front and rear tires will show a tendency to tramline towards larger ruts and potholes. Refinement is otherwise very good, and with the car in its default comfort setting, switchable via Ferrari's distinguished Mantino toggle, the GTC4 Luso T will cruise at 70 to 80 miles per hour without so much as a murmur from under the bonnet. Plant the throttle or push the car into sport model and the previously restrained V8 springs into action. Despite all this performance, Ferrari claims a 32-percenter improvement Indiana fuel economy and a 25-percenter drop Indiana CO2 emissions. Of course, if you drive the Luso T like your pants are on fire you'll see your predicted range plummet, but at a steady cruise this is the first four-seat Ferrari capable of more than 20 mpg. Visually, the GTC4 Luso T is almost indistinguishable from the existing car. Save for some new 20-inch wheels and a set of bespoke exhaust pipes, the V8 uses the same shell as the 12-cylinder car. Subtly revised over the old FF, the GTC uses revised lights front and rear, a reprofiled grille and fresh bumpers too. It's a similar story inside, where the new version uses the existing car's cabin without changes. That means the same responsive and intuitive 10.25-inch central touchscreen, carbon fiber trim and leather top dashboard. The huge central rev counter sits right in your eye line, while the gimmicky 8-inch passenger display remains, too, allowing your partner access to trip information, speed, and NAV instructions. As it's based on the same body, the Luso T gets the same spacious interior as the non-turbo model with room for two adults in the back and a couple of small suitcases in the boot. Ferrari claims a 450-liter load bay, but the large step means you'll need to be creative if you want to carry four people and their luggage for a long weekend away. The seats do fold, and there's a standard fit ski hatch for improved versatility. Key Specs Model, Ferrari GTC4 Luso T Price, £199,285 Engine 3.9-liter twin-turbo V8. Power, 630 bhp. Torque, 760 nm. Transmission, 7-speed auto, rear-wheel drive. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 3.5 seconds. Top speed, 199 miles per hour. Economy, 24.8 mpg. CO2, 265 G slash KM. On sale, now.